We start tonight with continuing coverage of a story we told you about last night. Law enforcement and community health partners are warning residents after a spike of fentanyl related overdoses around a dozen over just the past few days. So what is fentanyl? Well, fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that was developed in 1959 and introduced in the 1960s and as an anesthetic. Now it's 80 to 100 times more powerful than morphine and it was a contributing factor to the US record number of fatal drug overdoses last year. Now illicitly manufactured fentanyl, also known as IMF, is often added to other drugs for its heroin-like effect and to make them cheaper, more powerful, and more addictive, and especially more dangerous. Now in 2021, fentanyl overdose was the leading cause of death for adults ages 18 to 45, outpacing COVID-19, suicide, and even car crashes. Where does illicitly manufactured fentanyl come from? Well, in the 2021 fiscal year, U.S. Customs and Border Protection seized over 16,600 pounds of fentanyl and or heroin. The southern border saw the highest number of seizures and accounts for just over 15,000 500 pounds in 2021. Coastal and interior regions reported just over 1,000 pounds seized, and the northern border accounted for just over 28 pounds seized. So with the recent spike in overdoses in the Helena area, what can you do to help? Well, MTN's Jonathan Ambarian has that story. This jump in overdoses has healthcare providers in Helena concerned. We wanted to find out what they're recommending that could potentially save a life. One recommendation is the use of naloxone, also called Narcan. It's an emergency antidote for opioid overdose that can quickly restore a person's breathing to normal if it's slowed or stopped. If you're on a significant amount of narcotics, um, even by prescription, um, or if your loved one is addicted to narcotics, it would be wise to obtain some Narcan to have at home. Narcan is available as a nasal spray or as an injection without a prescription at most major pharmacies, but it can also be found for free at some community health clinics. The state lists Pureview Health Center in Helena as an option. Dr. Andrew Michelle of St. Peter's Health says the spray is typically easier to use, but he warns Narcan alone isn't enough. The next thing you do is call 911 to be brought to the emergency department as people can relapse. Michelle says at this point, their biggest recommendation is that anyone addicted to heroin or other opioids seek help. You know, it's important to reach out for help sooner than later because you may not have the option later if you accidentally overdose and you're alone. Several clinics in the Helena area offer medication-assisted treatment for addiction using the drug Suboxone. Another option for people struggling with addiction and substance use is the Montana Angel Initiative. That new program allows them to come into a participating law enforcement office and get connected with treatment providers without consequences. Governor Greg Gianforte launched the program along with the Cascade County Sheriff's Office last year. Now, about 20 sheriffs around the state are set to take part, including Lewis and Clark County. When someone comes in to say they need help, they can turn in drugs and paraphernalia without being charged or investigated, and the agencies will help them locate and coordinate treatment. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.